Oh, it's a wonderful day for a Chevrolet. Hey there, viewers, and welcome back to the Self Main Auto Channel. Sitting inside the 2007 Chevrolet, it's a Suburban. Uh, it's a half tonner. I believe it's the big 5.3. We got her running through a code scan. Now, the guy dropped it off and told me, uh, or at least what Mrs. O wrote down, that it has a entire bank misfire. Uh, now, I did start the vehicle up and just pull it from the parking spot around here uh, in front of the bay. And indeed, it does run poorly. Engine light was flashing. Uh, it smelled very rich, very gassy. So I just shut it off and figured, well, we better scan it and see if we can collect some data, you know, before we do any kind of uh, investigating and see if his problem is an entire bank of cylinders down. Lots of codes there, anyways. Let's see what we have. Engine misfire. Ignition coil control, ignition coil control, ignition coil control. One, three, five, and seven. Your classic Chevrolet 521 and then fuel system lean. So that's fantastic, folks. Um, this should be pretty cut and dry. So let's think about this for a minute. So we have random cylinder misfire, which we know. Let me start it up so you can hear it. I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not, but... You know, I don't want to let it run too much here. That's a lot of, that's a lot of raw gas. Um, but when we look at this, ignition coils 1, 3, 5, and 7, so this is the entire driver's side of the engine, the control circuit, um, the only thing that these all have in common are um, powers and grounds. So let's go see what we're missing and see if a little mouse got under there or something like that. Maybe it's a blown fuse from a shorter coil, who knows. Take the lid off of here. So this is the side that we're going to be looking at. We don't want to fiddle. We don't want to fiddle too much here. We're just going to kind of visual inspection. So one, one, three, five, seven down the driver's side on your Chevrolet. Um, doesn't look like anybody's been meddling in things. They ought not be meddling in, but they. Uh, I see this lock is out, so somebody perhaps was on the right path. So I'm assuming on these connectors, I think this connector feeds all the coils, and they should have a common power in the ground and then control wire. So what we'll need to do, I guess we can just unplug this little fella. We got a pink and black right there. That's a pretty common General Motors power and ground. So before we even get out a diagram, let me go grab a little test light. We'll turn the key on, see if we have power and ground here. And then we'll take it from there. I very well could be wrong on the colors, but I think, I'm a thinking. Let's see. Okay, so it doesn't light up the test light. Let's just see, let's leave it in the one we think is power. Touching on the ground. Oh, look at that. Ah, come on. Come on, baby. So there, there we have we have power on the pink. I'm certain this black one is supposed to be a ground. I could be wrong though. I say I'm certain then I'm sitting here doubting myself. So I tell you what, before we uh, back probe that, let's um, get on the uh, World Wide Web here and look it up to be certain. Ignition coils. Okay, so one one three five seven okay g102 oh, you son of a hooski uh pro demand is not very uh friendly with the touch screen so uh one three five seven that's these coils over here we were correct the pink is the common the power low reference is the brown but the ground is the black lower left front of engine didn't we do at the jail isn't that the one down by the power steering pump? I thought we did a video on this, folks. I'm pretty sure. Let me grab a light. Before we get real far, I'm gonna take, just gonna back probe right into that ground. And my hook uh, jumper wire on it there. And then we're just gonna ground it. We're gonna make sure everything, everybody over here is happy. I'm just gonna hook it right on this ground strap. I'm going to fire this pig up, see if she uh, runs out all eight now.
smooth as butter, baby. And then when we remove the ground, well, if I can get to it, bum, 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 bum. not happy now. So that's it. That's pretty easy. Show is over. Um, where'd my needle go? I lost my needle, man. So I suppose at this point, folks, you got a couple options. Uh, a, option A, we could, we'll go find the ground, this G, G whiz, G102, lower left front of engine, we'll go find it. It's probably crappy right at the eyelet, you know, just based on experience. Uh, or B, you could just tap into the ground wire and, you know, run yourself a new one. Uh, that's up to you. Chances are there's other stuff on G102 that potentially could be suffering from lack of ground. Well, uh, I think it's way down here. Yes, uh, there is a ground wire way down yonder here. I'm going to verify that's G102. We'll undo it. We'll have a little look at it and see if we can't get this fella going again. Got him weaseled out of there, folks. So, as soon as I touched, let me get this here, the two smaller ones, they they fell right out. Now, the eyelet, they were all into, you know, an eyelet. This one here, I had to wiggle a little bit because we're going to repair all of them. So, there's uh, three wires total there. Uh, they're just going to get new eyelets and then probably, because they're a son of a mother to get to down there, they're, uh, we well, see, see that gray tab there hold that wiring harness on they go right behind that so we can either put them back there or we can just do your classic GM G102 relocation kit they call it uh, we just run the eyelet you know up here and bolt it just needs to be bolted to the engine block so uh, either way you fix that it's fixed and it's as simple as that folks now that G102 is the same ground for the left side and the right side so however there's two separate wires so it is plausible like in this situation that just one of them can lose connection where the other bank runs or if you lose them both you lose spark on all eight cylinders uh, the big clue would be you know you got injector pulse and of course you're going to have a whole bunch of codes so uh, you know what's the common link between them all you know powers grounds uh, you know what is it there it's unlikely that all four control wires went bad at the same time so uh, that's that I'm gonna fix those wires get it put back together sorry for the boring video but you see it how I see it. And I want to see you down in that comment section. The concerns, the comments. Find us on the Insta and the Facebook. And just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.